My name is Luke O'Brien. I work as a salesman by day. At night, I attend the Billy Simons Night Law School in Sydney, Australia. It's been my goal in life to become a lawyer until some tragedies have caused me to question my own existence. I wonder why the good Lord lets Satan get away with so much. This has been the worst year of my life. And today, the country was rocked by yet another mass murder. This time a gunman killed 15 people at the hospital before taking his own life. That's unacceptable. No, that's ridiculous. How does an account disappear? What? Some human garbage has stolen my money and you're to... Well, what kind of idiots do you have working there? Luke. And it brought me back to reality. The world is a lost place. <coughs> Babe. <coughs> Babe, babe, are you okay? I'm sorry. These allegations as the Judicial Committee for Consumer Relations. In other news, gas prices are still rising and oil companies offer no apologies. God, are you following any of this? My mother was killed by a drunk driver, Gwen. The same drunk driver is now free on the streets with all the other filth out there, including the ones that stole our money. You know, if I could just have Satan right here, right now, I'd claw him to bits. That same filth that murdered my mother. I'm off to the law library. Well, everyone needs compassion. A love that's never been. But let mercy fall on me. Well, Don't tell me I left the bullets at home. And then, something happened. Of all the... A Bible fell out of the glove compartment. Had I backslidden so far from God that I was willing to kill a man? Why couldn't I forgive him? Why? How did I get to where I become? A man who hated people instead of loving my neighbor. Who am I? As I drove home, I realized what a spiritual battle we all face. Satan comes at you as a roaring lion, brothers and sisters. Don't forget that. The greatest lie he ever invented was to convince you that he doesn't exist. And I believe in the devil. That's when it hit me. Every problem in the world today is somehow related to this evil being. It's all lies and deception. And because of this snake, the world continues spiraling downward, and it dawned on me that I'd do something rash. If the world was going to hell, I may as well take some demons out. It was on this day I decided to expose Satan. Yes, you heard me right. Expose Satan, and I can show the tactics of the devil better than anybody. Luke O'Brien versus Satan. That's right. Satan? Yeah, that's right. Is there a last name? I didn't exactly have Satan's address to serve him a copy of the lawsuit, but I did make it all the way to a court hearing with a judge. Luke O'Brien versus Satan. Yes, Your Honor. You're suing Satan. <laughs> Order. 
Yes, Your Honor. You're aware you're in the International Court of Human Rights? Your Honor, Satan has violated every human right known to man. Are you seeing a shrink? No. Taking any medication? Yes. I'm, no, I used to. Mr. O'Brien, you are wasting the court's time with this frivolous lawsuit. Your Honor, I can prove that Satan is a viable defendant. Under Dover versus Marlboro and Section 10.3 of the International Civil Liberties Suit. Right. I understand. And of course, Satan has failed to respond to this notice. I'd like to submit a default judgment upon him. Hmm. And how do you expect to serve that notice? Well, I uh, listed it in the newspaper, actually. You might want to try hell next time. Just a tip. I knew she was going to dismiss the case. I just wanted to vent my frustration at Satan. So what she said next took me completely by surprise. You are going to have to give the defendant, in this case Satan, notice. Find a process server, I'll give you 30 more days. Your Honor, but, but I can't. Well, I won't allow a default unless the defendant has been served. Next case. What's this? This is a lawsuit against Satan. What, is this a joke? No, it's not. If he works here, I want you to get that to him. We have 70 lawyers that work here. Take your pick. Go for it. Hey, bud. What makes you think Satan even works here, huh? Well, you just give that to him if you see him, all right? Hey, I run a respectable business here, okay? Yeah, we've got strippers, drunks, and gamblers, but you know what? I don't permit smoking inside, okay? Are you guys Satan worshippers? Uh, just in case, can you give this to Satan if you see him around? Thanks. I see you served notice of process at a law firm. Strip club, overseas investment firm, and an oil company. Why stop there? Did you try serving a used car yard? If Satan's anywhere, it's probably there. <laughs> yeah, I didn't think of that one, Your Honor. I'd like to file a default judgment against Satan. Default judgment? Yes, Your Honor. I want the record to show that Satan has judgment against him for eight trillion dollars. I'm going to dismiss this case on a technicality and because you're nuts. And then the most unimaginable thing happened. I'm also going to penalize you because... Because why? I'm here, Your Honor. Ever get that strange feeling that a hoax might be real, after all? And who are you? Satan, Your Honor. Oh, Your Honor. <laughs> nice try. So, you two are in this together, right? I'm here to answer the summons, Your Honor. And I weighed the lack of process from Mr. Luke Oh, Brian. What is this? <laughs> Gosh, that's great. <laughs> you almost had me there. <laughs> oh, I made my day. <laughs> Am I punked? Where are the cameras? <laughs> I'm afraid it's quite serious, Your Honor. Well, I don't find it very amusing. Neither do I. <laughs> Can you prove you're Satan? Can you prove I'm not? What is going on here? Oh my goodness, it's so hot in here. Bailiff! Bailiff! Why is the heat up? What do you think? Oh my goodness, uh, Bailiff! What have you done to the heat? Check it, it's... Oh! So, 
Suppose you are who you say you are. Do you realize the extent of what you're saying? The Earth is mine, and I will defend myself. Do you have legal representation? <laughs> Do I have legal representation? I know what you're thinking, so don't say it. Was this man really the devil? Well, I must say, you've got a lot of guts, boy. Suing me? <laughs> I mean, do you really know what you're letting yourself in for? You're not really Satan, are you? Oh, and you're not Lukey Dookie, are you, idiot? Well, you better have a bunch of good lawyers because I'm going to take you down. You're a little pipsqueak. Do you know how insignificant you are? I mean, with one, I could send you off into the abyss in a little red corvette. Hey, I've got God on my side, okay? And he created you. Uh, got a card? I don't have one. No card? Oh, well, here's mine. Call me anytime. <laughs> hey, don't smoke it. <laughs> Ah. <laughs> I'll see you in court, baby. Oh, yeah. Nice magic trick, dude. I needed someone to help me. Someone I could trust. There was only one person I knew. Get lost. Come on, Mel. Is that a way to talk to a friend? Friends don't ask friends to sue Satan. I really need your help on this one. Please. Look, I just passed the bar. I'm not about to sue Satan as my first case. Find another idiot. Mel! The judge actually set a trial date for the next week, which stunned everyone in the courtroom, including me. After that, I got hit with a million interview requests, which, of course, I reluctantly turned down. Honey, I'm home! Coleman nutcase, but Luke O'Brien is suing the devil. The judge was about to throw out the case until another man entered in claiming that he himself was, in fact, the devil. Talk about another weird day here in the Sydney courthouse. You sure you want to go through with this? Yeah, of course. The devil is responsible for the mess this whole world's in. You said it yourself. Yeah, but I didn't tell you to go out there and sue him. <coughs> Why are you doing this, Luke? Because the devil exists, and I have to expose him. I have to expose him. Ladies and gentlemen, please, I'd like to thank you for coming here on such short notice for such a monumental event. Now, without further ado, I'd like to introduce to you my client, who prefers that you call him Prince. Here you are, your dream team, best trial lawyers from around the world. This trial. <laughs> well, here you are, sir. Your dream team. <laughs> the best, the brightest, the smartest trial lawyers from all over the world. And the most expensive. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Ice, Oxford, IQ 214. Oh. He helped defeat a bill that was trying to find a cure for cancer. I'm not quite sure about that cancer thing. I be, when people are dying of cancer, they usually think more about God, no? Well, don't get too paranoid there, Prince, because God gets his fair share of cursing too, huh? They curse God? Now that's a very smart answer, okay? <laughs> I like you. <laughs> Miss Black, 
Oh. Yale Law, the youngest and best litigator in New York. 67 wins, zero losses. Oh. She helped defeat the electric car in court. Her clients, big oil. What would you say if I gave you a hundred million dollars and asked in return for your soul? Hundred million for my soul? What's the catch? <laughs> oh, thank you. Good answer. <laughs> I like this tea. Pleasure to meet you, Prince. Mr. Think Tank, ah. Harvard Law. Think tank. How do you do? Help defeat the Passenger Bill of Rights. Oh. His clients are all the major airlines. Airlines? Oh. Yes. Oh, I hate airlines. Well, what I do love, though, I love to see people in those huge long lines, don't you? Oh, Waiting yes. for security, taking their stupid shoes off. <laughs> I love to see that. And they added baggage fees. That was my initiative. Really? I love greed. Welcome to the team. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Good. Uh, Miss Shy. Oh. Sydney University. Don't let the name fool you. She is a shark in court. I hear you're not happy with your remuneration. I only work for Top Dollar. Well, as you should. And what is Top Dollar to you? Ten million. Cash out. Oh. You sure she's Miss <laughs> Shy? <laughs> Seth, please. Look. Don't you want to be involved in taking down Satan? Put it that way, no, I don't. <sighs> no one else is helping me out on this. And besides, I mean, think of all the publicity. You'll, you'll be in every newspaper. You'll have so many clients from this, you won't even know where to begin. Seriously, I really, really need your help on this one, please. Luke, what if that guy really is Satan? Have you thought about that? Mr. Innocent, you're gonna love him. Columbia Law represents all the casinos in Vegas. Vegas, <laughs> put it there, my friend. That is my hometown. All those gamblers, those idiots, what nitwits they are. I love it when the dealer has 16 and turns over a five. All those idiot faces, I love it. They look so disappointed. I helped defeat a stupid lawsuit against the casinos for secondhand smoke. They claim that one hour in a casino equals three months of passive smoking. Oh, yeah, and uh, what happened? Just like my last poker game, I won, of course. <laughs> so I'm gonna crush Luke O'Brien. That'll give me so much joy. You're doing this for the Lord. <laughs> Seriously. And you gotta take a stand in your life. Thank you so much, yeah. Sir, Mr. In Your Face oh, from yeah. Stanford Law. Oh, Stanford Law, very good. Uh, I know this sounds egotistical, sir, but I'm the greatest, so don't worry about a thing. Good. Isn't that what Muhammad Ali said? <laughs> <laughs> Professor Fields, NYU. Hi, Prof. It's a stupid lawsuit, sir, and we're going to win. All right. Stupid, win. <laughs> that sounds good to me. Thank you. And uh, last but not least, Miss Scarlet. She represents the tobacco industry. And no more need be said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, quick question. Hands up, all those who believe in God. Mm, all right. Uh, hands up, those who like God. Like, like, like? No one. No. Well, I think our nemesis, Luke O'Brien, is in your shoes. He doesn't like God either. Only he doesn't know it. <laughs> all right, now, as you all know, this trial is being shown around the world. I don't have to tell you, my client never loses. Ever. So what do we know about this Luke O'Brien? You don't need to worry about Luke O'Brien. He's done. Well, let's not underestimate him. We're not. That's why you're closing. And so, the first day of the trial arrived. The jury was selected by a random computer process under some new law. Now, it was a madhouse. Here we are outside the International Court of Human Rights where Luke O'Brien is about to arrive. Look, here he is! Here he is! Luke! 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 Serious question for you, Luke. 
Are you a moron? Hmm, no. Look, you can't be taking this case seriously. Well, of course I'm taking it seriously. Do you honestly believe that that's the devil? The devil is life and he's wealth. Look, look. So why are you suing the devil? He ruined my life. He ruined this world. And he has to pay for it. Do you really think you have a chance? Yes. In my heart, I believe I do. <laughs> Satan, Satan, do you have anything to say? Mm, I always have something to say. Are you in Satan? Oh, yes. How about a little dance with Satan? <laughs> do you expect the public to actually buy your Satan? Well, do you expect the public to really buy the fact that you are $12,000 in debt on your credit cards? Hmm? How did you know that? Yeah, stop paying them off. If you're really Satan, then prove it. Okay, watch this. To your knees. All I'd like to say is, the world is full of losers. How many people are going to sue me and blame me because they can't get their act together? Huh? Okay? They're losers! Mr. Luke O'Brien, are you listening? Say, I just want to say, huge fan, I adore you, I, I worship you, I love Kiss. Um, what? Kiss, Kiss. <laughs> <laughs> I hate Kiss. I'm a Tom Jones man. It's being billed as Trial of the Century, being seen by audiences around the world. Welcome everyone to You Decide the Verdict. I'm Barry Polk. Joining me today are Tony the Hip Anzaldo and Jasmine Williams. Welcome both. Tony, why don't we start with you? Do you think that this guy, Luke O'Brien, has any chance against Satan? No. Well said. Jasmine. I think the world is pulling for Luke O'Brien, and we all hope that he prevails. Hmm. I don't. Let's go to Mark Ingstrom, who is observing this all the way from, uh, Tony, you'll like this, London, England. <laughs> Mark Barry, everyone in the UK is fascinated by this case, and the big question on everyone's minds is whether this really is Satan. Mark, excuse me a moment. We're going to go right back now as the trial is just getting back underway. Sure, you want to go through with this? No. This jury was selected by a random drawing of the yes. new Act 897.5. Since neither party chose to settle, we will go to trial. And I want a speedy trial, understood? We've already turned our court into a media circus. Plaintiff, your opening statement. Plaintiff? Yes, Your Honor. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, I feel a little inadequate. After all, I am suing the devil himself. However, it's very important that you remember the whole world is at stake here. And that being over there is the cause of all the world's suffering. Your Honor, objection! My client isn't a being. He's a fallen angel. Right. Continue, Mr. O'Brien. I will prove, with the preponderance of evidence, that he has caused all the problems and pain of this world. And the verdict should be rendered against him for eight trillion dollars. <laughs> Order! 
Okay, counsel for the defense, your opening statement. The audacity, the sheer audacity to make you poor people leave your jobs for this harebrained lawsuit. It's unbelievable. Objection. Sustained. Counsel, please refrain from personal attacks. I'm sorry, Your Honor. Assuming, for argument's sake, that my client, in fact, is Satan, we will prove that this man is no way responsible for this man's problems in society. And it is a disturbing and reprehensible thing for him to sue my client, who's done him no wrong. I'm done. Let the trial begin. Plaintiff, your first witness. Pastor Matthews, is Satan real? Oh, yes, he is. The Bible taken literally tells us that Satan is mentioned by name in 47 Bible verses and as the devil in Objection, Your Honor. The Bible is not admissible as evidence in this courtroom. Your Honor, the Bible has been the most reliable source of history than any other ever produced. Let him have it. It's fiction, anyway. Continue, Pastor. Come on, be magnanimous. Let him have it. We're going to win. <laughs> Satan, when he was tempting Jesus, appealed to three things. The lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the boastful pride of man. And what is his mission? He opposes everything that is good, and he seeks to destroy the work of Jesus Christ. There you have it. Destroy the work of Jesus Christ. I have no further questions, Your Honor. What is this, Pastor? It's an apple. And what if I was to tell you that this was the very apple that Eve took a bite from in the Garden of Eden? Would you believe me? No. Why? Because the apple Eve ate would be full of worms by now. <laughs> Brilliant deduction. And so our client over there is guilty of destroying this man's life because... Because the scripture says the devil is a roaring lion seeking who he may devour. Sounds pretty guilty to me. And yet this apple is not from the Garden of Eden. I understand your question. Of course it's not. Of course. No further questions, Your Honor. Wow. Already high drama on the first day of this international trial, live from Sydney, Australia. For those of you joining us from around the world, welcome. Tony, comments. Satan's lawyers are obviously having a field day here. I mean, this Luke guy, my heart goes out to him. He's just out of his league, and if he's not careful, they are going to have him for their lunch. Jasmine? What we need to remember here is that humanity is at stake. This is clearly good versus evil. Jasmine, just lighten it up a bit, okay? Yeah? Satan's the one being sued, right? I mean, Satan's the one being drugged by this moron. Hither and yon and yanked around in jails and courts and everything. Come on now. Have some empathy. empathy. We'll be right back after this. Your Honor, I'd like to call John Doerr of Windbile Gas to the stand. Um, objection, Your Honor. What is the relevance of this witness, may I ask? Overruled. Think, man. Think. Oil company, Satan, evil. You're John Doerr of Windbile Gas? Yes, I am. Why are the petrol prices so high, sir? Are they high? I hadn't noticed. You hadn't noticed? What a stupid, your middle name? <laughs> your Honor. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Counsel, will you refrain from personal attacks? Am I clear? Yes, Your Honor. I'm sorry, it slipped out. Your Honor, I want to note it on the record that that vicious, unwarranted remark was not only unchristian, but it was vile and wicked. So noted. Thank you. Continue. What you and every other loser should do is make more money and stop complaining. Why don't you just lower the price of gas? Because of money? We have to make a profit like everyone else. Your Honor, uh, what is the relevance of this questioning? Overruled. Continue. Money. It's a vicious cycle. Your company raises the price of oil by a few cents. And then it says it's not a monopoly. And then they take out some clever little ad that says they're a green company and they're not making any money. 
And this year alone, you made $50 billion. Money and greed, don't you think? Objection! Argumentative! Compound! Ambiguous! What is the purpose, Mr. O'Brien, of this questioning? The purpose? To show that the love of money is indeed the root of all evil. <laughs> Objection again! Sustained counsel. Will you refrain from personal attacks? Do you understand me? Yes, Your Honor. I'm sorry. Mr. Dorr, do you believe in God? No. <laughs> Thank you. Let's take a quick recess. Wow. Well, Tony, it appears that Luke O'Brien has made a remarkable comeback this afternoon. I'm baffled by this guy. One moment, he's an idiot. The next, a genius. That's right. Now, I've just been informed that we have been joined by 20 more countries broadcasting this event live around the world. They include Pakistan, Hungary, Chile, Bolivia, Iraq, and Jasmine, if you can believe it or not. North Korea. Yeah, what this tells me, Barry, is that there is a lot at stake in this trial. And my prayers are with Luke O'Brien. And he'll need a lot of prayer. We'll be right back after this station break. That was a dirty, cheap, rotten trick, O'Brien, and you know it. My client has nothing to do with the oil industry. Well, maybe you're in a state of denial, Murray, but your client is Satan. That would cross your mind? Oh, you're so done. By the time I'm through with you, you won't even be allowed to take the bar exam in Antarctica. <laughs> Mint? No, thank you. <gasps> what just happened? Everything is okay. I just told him off. Oh, you told him off? Yes. Huh? Well, I, I get a sense that we're losing. Look, don't worry. Ha! Don't you ever tell me not to worry. Now, you better bring him down in the next round, or else. What? You haven't seen my bad side. All rise. Your Honor, the defense calls Luke O'Brien to the stand. Why are they calling you now? I have no idea. This is <laughs> Take him out. Simple question, Mr. O'Brien. Do you believe in God? Yes, I do. Do you believe in Satan? But of course. Really? I hold in my hands an affidavit. When your mother died, a nurse heard you say, God, how could you let this happen to me? Did you say this? How's that? It's not great. It's a little better. You're so self-satisfied, aren't you? I want this little pipsqueak destroyed. Did you say this, Mr. O'Brien? Yes, I did. You said, God, how could you let this happen to me? I emphasize the word you. You were blaming God. Not Satan then, right? For the questions, Your Honor. Order! 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 I hear that noise again. You will be out of this court. Do you understand me? Thank you. Whoa! It looks like the jury is starting to favor Satan, amazingly enough. I don't know how he can just sit there and take it from Satan's lawyers. Why would Satan bother to defend himself? Listen, Meatface, maybe, maybe he had some free time. Who knows? I know when someone's real and not, and that guy is real. It's really Satan. Don't ever call me Meatface again. <sighs> what have I got myself into here? That lawyer today... You know, he was right. About what? 
I did blame Gaunt for my mother's death. You don't need to beat yourself up about this. There's so many people that question God in their life. No, but he had me there. God could have easily prevented her from dying, but he didn't. Your Honor, I call Satan to the witness stand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Well, this doesn't apply to me. Are you saying for religious reasons you don't want to take the oath? I'm not religious. Do you admit you're Satan? I admit nothing. I see nothing. I hear nothing. You admit that you're the evil being that stalked Eve? Objection. Assuming facts, not in evidence. It hasn't been established that Satan is evil. Also leading the witness, Your Honor. It's also irrelevant, Your Honor. How does overruled sound? Now sit down, all of you. I did not stalk E. All right? Actually, she came to me. Just like you come to me, Luke. Over and over again. Sorry? I've never come to you. I thought the scriptures made it perfectly clear. He who loves this world is an enemy of God. Uh, um, and I guess that all those times you work so hard to buy those stupid video games instead of praying to God. Oh, come on. Call a spade a spade. You've come to me many times. I want to talk about that night in October at the hospital. The night my mother was hit by a drunk driver. Mm, I don't remember. Just before she died. I know you were there. I don't remember. You don't remember? You don't remember too much, do you? Well, I don't go around thinking negative thoughts. <laughs> or insignificant ones. Insignificant? My mother was not insignificant. Oh, I, I know what this is about. This is about the fact that your mother died before you could tell her how much you loved her. That's not true. Oh, the guilt you must have felt being the bad son. And what about the time you ripped up her Bible and threw it in the trash, huh? Oh, yeah, oh, good going, boy. You really showed her. And God. You stop. I'm telling you. Oh, Luke. You stop talking about my mother. She must have brought you up so well, and she died so young, Lukey boy. Security. I'll kill you! Security! Stop talking about my mother! I didn't mention your mother! I mean, look at this guy, Your Honor. Look at him. I mean, is that Christian, Mike? Does that look like a Christian? Get out of my way. Get out of my way. Don't you talk about my mother. Get out of my way. Order. I didn't mention his mother. Yeah. Mr. O'Brien. <laughs> That's no Christian. That <laughs> means Mr. O'Brien. You lose it again in my court, and I'll have you held in contempt. Get off me. Get off me. Understood. Yes, Your Honor. I apologize. I'm terribly sorry. That's all right. My mother was a saint. All right, apology taken. My mother was a saint. I'm sure she was. But hey, it's not my fault, is it? I mean, I'm not to blame. Think, Luke, think. No further questions for now. Let's all take a quick recess. Hey, Lukey boy, Lukey. A quick recess. <laughs> Remember, it's about winning the jury. <laughs> no. Okay? It's just like, some, it's like a bad dream or something. Can't get out of it. Well, well, well. Now, what do, you, what do you guys make of this? Well, if you want my opinion, Barry, that guy is one burrito short of a combo plate.
Yes, but did Satan convince the jury that he's not responsible for Mr. O'Brien's mother? Of course. The, 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 the wimp is blaming everybody but himself. It's pathetic. It's pith it's pitiful. Look at that. Jasmine, thoughts? What is this love affair with Satan? We're talking about Lucifer here, the monster that brought down all of humanity, and you're waxing on about Satan having a field day. What, what is this? All right, guys, let's, uh, let's try to have some civility here. Let's maintain some First order. First off, hey, that's not Satan. You know how I know that? I've seen Satan. Oh, 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 uh, Hip, you've seen Satan. Uh, guys, excuse me. Could we just, uh, I think uh, the audience would like to stick to the legal issues. Final line, Barry. Luke's over his head, and he's no match for Satan. Good. Now, what have we got? <sighs> now the gloves are coming off. That's what friend. I want to hear. That's what I want to hear. I want you to go low, low, low. <laughs> I want this boy destroyed. He's gone. Yeah, good. He's sweet, but... Send us some emails, huh? Oh, spam. <laughs> I love... Do you love spam, too? <laughs> okay, court is back in session. Counsel, proceed. Counsel. Plaintiff calls Satan to the stand. In the Bible, in the book of Job, you attack Job both physically and spiritually. Why is that? <laughs> Finally, in this courtroom, an intelligent question. <laughs> the short answer is, because I wanted to test him. And he passed your test? Yes, I know it's hard to believe, but yes, he passed. So doesn't that prove you're responsible for at least one person's suffering? Perhaps. So why couldn't you be responsible for the rest of the world's suffering too? Your Honor, objection. Leading uh, the witness. Overruled. Witness will answer the question. Look, I'm not omnipotent. I can't be in two places at the same time. Only God can. God could stop me any time, but he doesn't. Really, he's the one you should be asking these questions to. Oh, and by the way, what does that tell you about the big guy upstairs? If he can stop evil and doesn't, what does that tell you about him? Well, I guess it tells me that he's given everyone a free will. Objection. She can't answer questions from the witness. Sustained. Please keep your opinions to yourself. Of course, Your Honor. Any further questions? Uh, no. Ah! 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 Bailiff! Bailiff, do something. Stay calm, everyone, please. How did it get... What? Bailiff! Get it out of the court! Hey, guys, just a bit of time out, okay? Let's go to use the bathroom. Yourself. Why are you suing me? Well, I didn't think you'd show, did I? You didn't think I'd show? What kind of a gutless thing is that to say? So why did you show? I'm here to defend my honor. Your honor? You're a snake. You be careful, O'Brien. I could sue you for libel and slander. Truth is the defense against slander. Ah, oh, yeah, of course I forgot you know the law, don't you? All right. Yeah, you can call me a snake. <laughs> Actually, I think snakes are pretty cool. Every one. You know, what I can't figure out is why did you turn against God? You are a worship leader, you're a good-looking angel, and you throw it all away. Listen, I don't like to dwell on the past. But if you're looking for the short answer, I thought that I could be God. Mm, big mistake. 
Why aren't you afraid? Afraid? Afraid of what? Well, I am the guy who sent Jesus Christ to be crucified. Think about that. Oh, think again. See, Jesus willingly went to the cross, and that was the biggest mistake of your life, pal. Hmm. You remember the Garden of Gethsemane? All the disciples were asleep. He had no one to turn to. He still went through with it. I mean, it, it's unbelievable. Yeah, what a great guy. That's why I owe him big. Listen, you chump chump. You're gonna lose this case. You're gonna be the laughing stock of the world. I mean, little kids are gonna point at you and go, isn't that the moron who tried to sue Satan? <laughs> Listen, don't talk to that little punk without me present. Do not, please. Is everything under control, Mr. Banks? Of course it is. Remember, we don't lose ever. Good. Don't ever say lose to me. Have a nice day. Am I right in saying that you dropped out of school because you couldn't stand the pressure. Yes. And that was Satan's fault. No, <clears throat> that was mine. It was yours. Yeah. And presently you're studying at Billy's. Counsel, please keep your hands off the witness. Uh, Your Honor, I'm sorry. He just reminds me of my son. That's... So how does Billy's College of Night Law compare with other colleges. How would I know? Well, I went to Harvard Law School. How does it compare with uh, that? Objection! You're objecting to your own counsel? Your Honor, I'd like to rebuke my own counsel, if I may. Please, come here. How dare you ridicule that man in front of everybody? I was just trying to point out the Who cares if you're from Harvard? Big deal! Nobody, Nobody cares. Listen to me now, because I'm the boss, not you. We are here representing that man right there. This is not your show. So you know what? What? Get out. What? You're fired! <sighs> your Honor, excuse me for my outburst. I am truly sorry. If it pleases the court, I would like to replace counsel with co-counsel, the lovely Miss Scarlet. Substitution granted. Thank you. Continue with the questioning, please. Nice trick. You ain't seen nothing yet. We're losing the case, Luke. You realize that? Yeah, I noticed. I can't believe the jury is on Satan's side. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna go down as the worst lawyer in the history of law. Luke, he's deceiving the jury. Yeah, he sure is. I know that. He even tricked me. What am I supposed to do? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. You sure? Yeah. Are you ready to do this the Lord's way? The Lord's way? That's what I think I've been doing. I'm, I'm suing the devil in case you haven't noticed. For whose game? Yours or his? Honey, it's a little more complicated than that. You wouldn't understand it. You know, guys, it's funny because most people are in a spiritual battle every single day of their life. And they just go about their busy lives never fulfilling what God really intended for them. Um, meaning? Meaning, Satan doesn't care about those who are too busy for God. He only cares about those who are too busy for Satan. Good morning. Are you on the witness stand today? Um, I would just like to say, statement is this. This trial has been made out to be a trial of good versus evil. Now, I have nothing personal against Mr. Luke O'Brien. He's a misguided Bible thumper. That's all. Anyway, we'll have a good contest. Thank you. Mr. Satan, sir, can you tell us what hell is like? Oh, yes. It's very warm there. Why? Do you want to come and see? If you're Satan, then prove it. <laughs> What happened to him?
Hey, blind man. You really think the end is near? I believe Jesus is coming back soon. Yes. And why is that? I may be blind, but I can see. The book of Luke says, watch out that you are not deceived. For many will come in my name claiming, I am he, yeah, and the time yeah. is near. Oh, thank you. Then he said to them, nation will rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. There will be great earthquakes, famines and diseases in various places. Oh, I truly believe that we are the last generation. Hmm? Yeah. It's looking like a slam dunk to me. Oh, really? A slam dunk, huh? Yeah. Something wrong? No, no. Uh, do, do you remember seeing that blind guy outside? Blind guy? Yeah, yeah. I wonder where he went. Look, we got this jury locked. We, this case is done if we don't screw it up, okay? Ah, we have him locked, huh? Locked. Hmm. You know, I think we're going to have to alter course. All rise! Can you explain evil to me? Did you hear my question? Yes. Well? Evil is good. Oh. Did you just say that evil is good? <laughs> you still don't get it, do you? Look, there wouldn't be good without evil. And conversely, there wouldn't be evil without good. Well, in Ezekiel. Ezekiel? Yeah. Oh, one of my favorites. Oh, yeah. This is a nice one about you. So what? So what? So you thought you were God. And that was a little bit silly, wasn't it? What kind, of a, what kind of a question is that, Your Honor? Your Honor. Who is Jesus Christ to you? I'm sorry? I said, who is Jesus Christ? Your Honor, what's that got to do with anything? Objection, Your Honor. Come on. Where are we going with this? Overruled. Proceed. Your Honor, please, I... Will you sit your jack-in-the-box face down? Got it? Thank you, Counsel. Who... Is Jesus Christ? Witness will answer the question. <clears throat> yes, Your Honor. Um, Jesus Christ. Um, I. Hmm. He was a good teacher. That's it. Nothing more. He was a good teacher. Hmm. I don't recall him saying anything like that. All right. He said he was God. I'm sorry. What did he say? Big deal. He you said. You heard me. He said he was what? Could you repeat that again, please, for the jury and the court? Did you get that? I am not repeating it. If you've got wax in your ears, clean them out. But the biggest mistake you made was crucifying him. Isn't that right? You better watch your mouth, boy. You thought you had it all figured out, didn't you? You watch your mouth, boy. Look around you. What do you see? Is that right? Why don't you look around? What do you see? I am a believer in Jesus Christ, and a lover of God, and that's all I have to be. Excuse me, Mr. O'Brien, any further questions? Court adjourned wow. for the day. Wow, so there, here we go, another turn of events. What do you make of this? What we're seeing, I don't think we'll witness again in our lifetime. What just happened? Groveling loser. All right, gloves are off. From now on, hardball. Where did that come from? I don't know. It's like... Are you okay?
okay? Yeah. I just got a headache. Don't worry. Quiet in the court. All rise. Court is in session. May be seated. Mr. O'Brien, have you ever done internet porn? Yes. How many times? I don't know. Mr. O'Brien, did you or did you not use the F word when somebody cut you off on the freeway last week? Objection! This is hearsay, Your Honor. Where did you find this information? Did you use... Yes! Yes, I did. Look, this guy cut me off. Yes or no, Mr. O'Brien? Yes. How's that for low blows? Not low enough. Well, how low should we go? Go as low as hell. Mr. O'Brien, um, do you know what audacious means, Mr. O'Brien? Yes. Don't you find it audacious to waste the time of these precious jurors with your frivolous lawsuit? No. How can you sit there with that smug look on your face and have no shame? Objection! He's scolding the witness! Scolding the witness. What does that mean? I never even heard of that objection. Did you also learn that at Billy Simon's Night Law School? <laughs> and did you use a racist remark last week? Yes. <clears throat> what did you say? I don't remember. And when did you become a Christian again? Listen. I accepted Jesus Christ into my heart seven years ago. Seven years? And still using profanity and making racist remarks. No further questions. Mr. O'Brien, what other racist things no have you said? Are you a racist? No Mr. O'Brien, are you a member of the KKK? What sort of person are you? You call yourself a Christian? Do you think he's a How does it feel to be on the losing side? How does it feel to be on the losing side? Have you ever been so down? You had nowhere else to go but up. Dear Lord God, I realize I blamed everyone but myself. I even blamed Satan, but couldn't see my own faults, my own flesh. Forgive me, Lord. Forgive me, because of all the people on this earth, I am truly the biggest hypocrite and the worst sinner. Give me another chance to do the right thing the right way. Your way. Your will. I want to win this case. You have made your case. Barry, most of the legal experts pretty much agree that this case is over. Luke O'Brien lost the jury and lost the case. Amazing, so his past came back to haunt him. Yes, it did. All right, let's go to Mark live in London. Mark, what is the consensus of the people there in England? Barry. Most people I've spoken to all agree that Luke O'Brien is a hypocrite. He's suing the devil when he should be suing himself. God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power, and he went around doing good and healing all who are under the power of the devil. What, is... what does that mean to you? Wow. You're amazing. You just spout this stuff all day long, don't you? Um, what does it mean to me? All? Absolutely. Zip. Zilch. Zippo. The thief, he cometh, but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. The thief... I'll tell you what, though. I wish I had the power to make you disappear. 
You are boring me to death. And Jesus was referring to you. So I question, how many people have you killed? All right, let's do the tally here. Uh, according to the Bible, I've killed 10 people. Job's family, that's it. Uh, but how many people has God killed in the flood? Huh? Some estimates, over 100 million people. Why can't you just be truthful? You want the truth? You can handle the truth. <laughs> Order. I can handle the truth. <laughs> you know, Jesus said, I cometh so that they might have an abundance of life. Mm. He also said, I am the good shepherd, and the good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. Would you give your life for a human being as Jesus did? Certainly not. Humans are trash. I'm just a trash collector. Well put, Satan. Your Honor, I don't think that we can keep- Sit down. Why do you get so upset when I mention the name Jesus Christ? Why don't you ask me something fun, like death? Ask me about death, come on. How many people do you think are going to hell? I don't know, you keep score, tell me. Over two billion people, according to the book of Revelations. What do you say about that? That man is wicked, God is just, and you're partially to blame. You ever been to hell, boy? Not a fun place. That's too bad, huh? Because that's where you're going. some more witnesses. Right. Okay. Pastor Pringle, is it all God's fault? Well, not his fault. He is the original creator of everything. However, he gave us a free will so that we become free to choose. That's all. Thank you very much. Thank you. Pastor Pringle, isn't it? Right. So let me get this correct. You're saying that God allows this free will for every man to choose between Satan and God. Right. So if I was to walk up to Mr. O'Brien right now and punch him in the face, would that be my own free will? Right. Right. So it's not Satan's fault then, if we're to follow this line of reasoning. While Satan comes to kill, steal, and destroy, and it's clear from Scripture, he's behind all the world's problems. However, we become responsible in our fallen state when we yield to temptation. Thank you. Pastor Phillips, could you prove to me, 30 seconds or less, that God exists? Objection. Overruled. Witness can answer. Prove in 30 seconds that God exists. I can do that in one sentence. Something cannot come out of nothing. It's impossible. Here you have it. Something cannot come out of nothing. How true. We can explain where life began. We can explain where thoughts began. But we cannot prove a moral conscience. This is what truly perplexes scientists and also proves the existence of God. And what is Satan's mission? Oh, I think that's plain in scripture. He's come to steal, to kill and destroy. You can't put a price on the damage he's done, but humans are responsible for their own souls. Is there a hell? Yes, indeed. And every day people have the opportunity to go to either heaven or hell. Thank you. All right, guys, this thing keeps going back like an Olympic ping pong match. Tony, who's winning? It's really hard to say, it really is. But it was brilliant on his part, bringing all of these distinguished men up to the stand. 
I would say O'Brien is winning at this point and seems to be able to carry it all the way through. Me too. The jury is going with O'Brien all the way. I'm a little concerned, sir. A little. Gentlemen, we are losing this case. I think we need a serious change of counsel. Who do you think you're talking to? Huh? You think you're it, don't you? Because you went to Stanford Law School, huh? And you work at a top firm? Yeah. You don't know Jack, boy. And that goes for you, too. Huh? Listen, you better win this case, I'm telling you. I'm going to make it my priority to come after you night and day in this world and in hell. You got it? Yes. Now get yeah. out of here. Yeah. Get out! Don't you ever get tired of being the bully? <laughs> you know, I really don't understand you and your wife. I mean, you're either super crazy or super stupid to want to go up against me. I have no fear of you anymore. Oh. Yeah, you may be more powerful in the surf than me, but Jesus is infinitely more powerful than you. you you're banging the Bible again, huh? Yeah, yeah. Well, maybe you should ask God to cure Gwen's brain cancer then. What? Huh? Oh, you, didn't she tell you? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a shame. No, she, she's, she's got brain cancer. She's only got five months to live. You're lying. Oh, yeah, my, yeah. Uh, I know what I'm Satan. I mean, Satan always lies, doesn't he? I tell you what, why don't you ask her yourself? Hey! Honey. Are you dying of cancer? You just had so much on your plate. You know, I want you to do this trial, okay? I want you to win it. You hear me? I want you to win it. so much. All rise. You may be seated. Counsel, do you have something to say? Your Honor, we ask the court to give us a continuance and suspend this trial immediately. Order. Counsel, on what grounds? Your Honor, this man is not Satan. Order! Counsel, do you realize what you're saying? The fact that he has admitted he's Satan is unequivocal. Your Honor, according to international rules, section 666, the trial can't continue if there's any question of true identity. Section 666, I have never heard of it. It's in your rule book, page 341. 666, there it is. <sighs> Counsel for the plaintiff, any comment? Um, your honor, it has been established that he is Satan. No, it has not been established, your honor, especially in light of new revelations about our client. Oh, let's break. Counsel, I want to see all of you in my chambers now. This is preposterous. I could have you disbarred for this. Your Honor, we've just been alerted to the fact that our client is not who he says he is. He's not Satan. What are you saying? He's insane. We've represented him to the best of our ability, and he fooled us. Oh, he fooled you. He fooled you. Aren't you supposed to be the top law firm in the world? Was he fooling about paying as well? Your Honor, he is not insane. I'll be the judge of that, thank you. 
We ask that the entire case be dismissed on lack of person. And under international rule number 393. Oh, don't you tell me the rules. This case will continue, but I will allow proof of identity to be granted. You have to prove that that man in there is really Satan. Your Honor, that's just not... Oh, stop it and get back into court all Thank of you. Thank you, Your Honor. Good luck with that. For what it's worth, you stood up for what you believe in, and you took all that public humiliation. You never caved in. I really, really respect that. Thanks. It's just, I wish there was some way we could prove that this guy's a devil. He's too smart. You're dealing with a force that's beyond your comprehension. But Luke, God is still in control. Yeah, it just feels kind of... Say that again. God is in control, Luke. God is in control. Remember that. Your Honor, plaintiffs would like to call Satan back to the witness stand. Hi. Hi. Why did you tell this court and the jury that you are Satan? Actually, if my memory serves me correctly, I don't think I ever said I was Satan. You're the one who said it. You answered every question as if you were Satan. Yeah, well, somebody's got to defend him. May as well have been me, right? <laughs> Order. <clears throat> what do you do for a living? I sell used cars and new ones. Yeah, come see me. I give you a special rate. Really? Mm-hmm. Anyone else, too. Special rate. How about that, folks? Mm -hmm. That's really cute. This is all just one big joke for you, isn't it? Oh, wow, well, come on. We all had a few laughs, right? I mean, you know, I had my 15 minutes, you had yours, we both went home happy and entertained, right? I mean, that's why you sued Satan in the first place, right? No. You're a rational person, are you not? Yes. Hmm. Are you? <laughs> Well, you wouldn't do anything out of the ordinary in this courtroom, would you? Uh, there's nothing ordinary in this courtroom. <laughs> Order! Mm, yeah. Sorry, Your Honor. Well, what, what I mean is, uh, now that you've revealed that you're really a used car salesman... Right, right. Yeah, you wouldn't wig out or anything crazy, would you? Uh, I don't think so. No, you wouldn't <laughs> do anything strange in front of this jury, would you? Certainly not. No. No, no. After all, now you claim that you're not Satan. All right, listen. We had our fun, right? Now, well, let's... Well, you just hold whoa, on a minute, whoa, pal. don't... St what is... Oh. Hey, no, no, no. Got your attention, haven't I? Well, I got something special in here for you. I'm sure you do. James, oh. chapter 4, oh, no. verse 7. Submit yourselves then to God. Mm. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. <laughs> Come near to God. <laughs> And he will come near to you. <coughs> Wash your hands, you sinners. And purify your hearts, you double-minded people. Have you finished? Oh, no. no. And by the power and the truth of these scriptures, and in the name of Jesus Christ, get thee behind me, Satan. I'm sorry. I said... Get thee behind me, Satan, in the name of Jesus Christ! Excuse me, Satan. Get back into the witness stand. Sorry. That was unusual. Yes, it was. I, I, I'm just nauseated, Your Honor. Do you do that all the time? 
bet you get a lot of laughs, huh? And you couldn't really be Satan. After all, the Bible clearly states that if you resist the devil, he will flee from you. But that doesn't apply to you, does it? No. I, I'm accused. Get thee behind me, Satan! <laughs> Got a proposition for you, but come on, looky dooky. How about it? I give you everything in this life you could possibly want riches, a beautiful estate, horses. Uh, What'll it cost me? My soul? Car. Oh, yeah, just your soul. It's nothing. Your soul. Oh, you can it. take that offer come and you can shove it up your. Order! Get back into the witness stand, sir. Well, that was very rational. In fact, you look pretty stupid to me now. What do you think about that? Can you please get back into the witness stand? Will you shut up! I haven't finished yet. Shut up! Shut your mouth! And you! What are you looking at? Huh? Something funny? I know all your secrets. Yeah, your gamblers, your sex addicts. Will the witness Shut up! Mr. Defendant, Shut up! you take the witness take down down. you are asked to. Take it Shut down. up! I know all about you. All of you. I'm watching you. You want to know the truth? The real, honest, gut-level truth. <laughs> I take sheer delight in creating havoc in the world. Pitting rich against the poor, race against race, country against country, man against man. But most especially, man against God. Do you know what God invented? Oh, I mean, come on. Most of you are just too stupid to figure it out. God created the oceans and the stars. He created compassion, mercy, and stupid things like love. He created good health, raindrops, and the scent of jasmine. Do you know what I created? Huh? Do you? I created noise. And like the dumb idiots you are, you worshipped it. Humans love the noise I created. Car alarms, motorcycles, leaf blowers, nightclubs, gangster rap, techno music, everything that creates noise, I invented. And you know what? Noise drowns out any thoughts of God. What's the matter? Don't you love the music of hell? <laughs> Me, let you into a little secret. I invented customer service. Yeah. Automated answering? You're looking at it. Yeah. Ah, unjust notice? It's from me. A huge unjust bill? That's from me. A, a parking ticket? Mm -mm. I own all the utility companies, all the gas companies, and all the parking meters. Who do you think gives you the parking tickets anyway? I do it to rile you because I hate your stinking guts! You know, I can tempt you with a candy bar, and you'll sell out Jesus Christ in a millisecond. <laughs> I mean, people are being massacred in Rwanda, and you yawn. People starving in Haiti, and you put a buck into the collection plate. Losers. What a bunch of losers. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
War? Do you know most wars have started because of land? Can you believe that? Land issues. Yeah. And yet 75% of all land is unoccupied, even in the United States. Oh, yeah, I know. I started wars. But it takes nitwits like you to finish what I started. <laughs> oh. I made people care about really dumb political issues. Left wing versus right wing. It's all a distraction! Don't you get it? <laughs> you know, you people, you believe in God like I believe in the tooth fairy. Oh, by the way, I love how I'm portrayed in the media. That little cartoon guy with the pitchfork and the, the horns and the tail. so stupid. You're like a bunch of little hamsters running on a wheel. You know, every day there's people that die. And guess what? They're in just two places and they're not really dead. They're either alive in heaven or alive in hell. You pick. <laughs> Do you know what my ultimate goal is? It's to take all you nitwits to hell with me. Yeah, well, as the world's coming to an end, huh? Better be quick. <laughs> I suppose you're wondering why I do what I do. <sighs> it's very easy, really. It's because I hate your stinking guts. I hate Every single one of you! Have a nice day. <laughs> Your Honor. We ask the court to please disregard the complete statement of our client. He made it under complete duress from opposing counsel, and under Civil Procedure Code 598.91, he cannot be tried in this court. The state of our client's mental health, he's crazy. Because I do not want this case appealed, the testimony will be stricken from the record. Oh, Your Honor. And I am to instruct all of you in the following. You will not take into consideration any of what the defendant blurted out. Only what you have heard and seen and witnessed from the facts and testimonies of the witnesses. Am I clear? Counsel for the defense, closing. Distinguished members of the jury, let's take a moment and think about what type of man it would take to sue someone for eight trillion dollars. A self-centered, an egotistical, an attention-seeking man who simply cannot move on from his own past. Now as charismatic as my client can seem, as much as he wants to play this up in the courtroom, he is mentally ill. He's demented. He needs help. He needs pity. Not a lawsuit. And he is nowhere closer to being connected to all the evil, to being Satan himself, than this apple is to being the very one that Eve took a bite from in the Garden of Eden. So I'm asking you to make an opinion today. And just as any sane, logical individual would do, they'll find my client not guilty. And now, Mr. O'Brien, closing. Mr. O'Brien. Uh -huh. 
Satan has brought up my past, and he's right. I've done some horrendous things. I've said some horrible, cruel things. And I ask the forgiveness of those I have hurt. Every day, there is war within me. I know what I should do. Sometimes I don't do that. I know what I shouldn't do. Sometimes I do that instead. But that's the battle of choosing between good and evil, between God and Satan. Every day, it's a struggle to live a life that honors Jesus Christ. But when you give your life over to Jesus, you're a new person. Satan's mission is to destroy the work of God. We humans are the work of God. We make mistakes and he forgives us. Let's not allow Satan to take that away from us. Make him pay for his attempts at destroying our lives. Punish him for his hate and cherish God for his love and his forgiveness. You see, the greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world it didn't exist. But that illusion is no more. Do you have a verdict? Yes, Your Honour. The jury finds in favour of the plaintiff for eight trillion dollars. to hell. I've been sleeping here all night, I think. Yes. Well, I didn't want to wake you, but you were saying, get behind me, Satan. Get be... Oh, I must have been dreaming. Yes, well, don't study too hard. Girls. Girls. It's a new day. It's a new day! 
Gwen? Gwen? Luke? Babe, shh. Luke, where shh. were you? Are you sick? No, I'm not sick. Where were you? You didn't even call me last night. I'm sorry, honey. I'm sorry. Look, I went to the library and I fell the asleep. Library. I fell asleep. I had a dream and you were sick and I didn't, I didn't, I, I, you didn't tell me in the dream. And then, and then they had cancer and then, and, and Cancer? Like, are, you, are, you, are you sick? No, are you telling me the I truth? am okay, but, you know, I thought you were going to kill the guy that <sighs> killed your mom. Oh, babe, no. No, no, you gotta hear me out. I, I had this dream. It was the devil was in it, and I beat him, and I, I, I sued him in court, and I, I won. No, I found the peace, hon. I found my peace. I found God. God, I found him. And you know what? And I'm gonna forgive him. I'm gonna forgive him. It's a new day. It's a new day. And so I start the first day of my new life. A life that will obey the Lord and shun the enemy. It feels wonderful. Thank you, God. You want to be big, Luke? You're not a loser. Want to make lots of money, Luke? You're not a loser. You're not a loser, are you? Think about Gwen. You have no authority over me, Satan. You got that? I am a believer in Jesus Christ.